a social one, too. Where was it? Was that like that? One, two, one, two. Oh, okay. Now, you put your yarn in at the bottom of the stitch you want to cover. And I'm going this direction, right? I'm going from right to left. So that means I'm going to put my needle in from right to left, and I'm going to pull it through, and I'm going to insert it at the base. And there's my duplicate stitch. Ta-da! Now, my next one I'm doing is right there. And I'm going to go on the bottom of that one, and I'm going to go up through the top, and I'm going to go down, and that's all I do. Now, the thing that I want to make sure is, is that when I stretch this, and I've got my yarn tail there, that these do not cross at the bottom. You can't really see that because I've caught the yarn tail. Notice how if I pull that, it's open. Now, how do I get a twisted duplicate stitch? How I get it is if I'm going in this direction, I go under the stitch from the opposite direction. Okay? And that's going to do what at the base? It's going to cross it. It's, and also, anytime you twist a stitch, whether it's duplicate stitch or it's regular knitting, it's going to be a different size. And that's why they make a big deal about this. Now, when I'm going from this direction that way, I go from that way. What if I'm doing a vertical column? Well, what you need to do is you need to figure out... Now, let me back out of here. Okay, if I'm doing a vertical column, I'm going up here. Okay. Okay, and I'm going up to the bottom of the next stitch. Okay. And where is my yarn tail? Okay, it's kind of on that side of the stitch. So if I go from over here, I'm going to be crossing it. I had it over there. I'm going to be, go the opposite direction. And it's not, 